Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Oh, Heavenly Father, we thank you for all things. And God, we realize that you're the author and you're the face of all things, Lord. You said every good thing come from above. And we thank you, God, for the songs and the praises and the worship. We thank you for all. Most of all, we thank you for your people who gather here every Sunday. And thank you for those that don't come, but yet and still, they got a way of listening. And God, we thank you for these offerings and many, many blessings. In the name of the Father, in the name of the Son, and in the name of the Holy Ghost. And thank God for this, our pastor here at this church and first lady. And paused again and said, Lord, thank you, thank you. We said, all things come unto thee, O Lord. All things come unto thee, O will have a building fund program today at 3 o'clock and the speaker for the program will be uh, the program gentleman Vice, Vice Moderator Hopefully our missionary that is, will have a Reverend Jones pastoral anniversary on Sunday, February 11th at 2pm and the speaker for the program will be, will be Reverend Tim Aubrey from Candy Run I'm sorry Reverend Newman's pastoral anniversary on Sunday, September 25th at 2 p.m. And the speaker for the program will be Reverend Evans uh, from Greater Grace of uh, Missionary Baptist Church. The first quarterly meeting for the St. Paul Missionaries has been moved from February 25th due to Reverend Newman's anniversary to the first Sunday in March, which is Sunday, March the 3rd at 2 p.m. at Rock Springs Missionary Baptist Church. The St. Paul Ushers will be sponsoring a CPR wheelchair, wheelchair training class. If you're interested in taking part, there is a sign-up sheet through Sister Judy McCoy. Um, we need Anybody who would like to take this class, it will be on February, uh, it will be on March the 16th, Saturday, March the 16th, and Saturday, March the 23rd from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. Um, they want to get as many people CPR certified as possible. Um, the ushers are sponsoring it, so if you would like to go to the class, there are two classes, and there is a sign-in sheet, and i got to have that sign-in sign -in sheet back to the ushers by the 28th. So if you'd like to take part on Saturday, March the 16th, or either Saturday, March the 23rd, from 10 to 2 p.m., there will be a CPR and a wheelchair, wheelchair training class on Campus City. Please see Sister Judy McCoy if you'd like to sign up for that. The Widows Ministry and the Missionary Ministry will have meetings after service today. The 
missionary will be found out in the province and next time you will send my family and I will be right after service. Welcome missionary back to church. God brings warmth into our lives to the time of things on heart. I am grateful for you and your kind heart. Thank you. I wish you some things you can share in a minute. Still also back to church from the Lockhart family. Blessed are those who give give of themselves with warmest thanks for all your help. Thank you for your support, food, and prayers. Also the phone calls to Pastor, Pastor Young and the Oakland Missionary Baptist Church family. And this is coming from the family of the Samuel Cecil Lockhart family. Blessed, blessed are the givers and grateful are the receivers. Thank you so much. And this is come to, uh, coming from the Taylor Thunderbird. Um, the granddaughter of Sister Linda Thunderbird, and she, and she is going attending Gardner Webb University. We gave her a donation um, for school. And on that note, when we gave out donations, I left out a check from the St. Paul Association for Jalen Smith, so I'll be sure to get this to you to bring it to Jalen. Um, and we also want to recognize one more name that was not given, and that was uh, Darmian Young, who will be graduating this year. So um, let's keep her in prayer. During Black History Month, um, we thank all of you that took part today in our African attire. Y'all look nice. Uh, fourth Sunday is I'm Fabulous. That is our hat day. Um, and that will be our friends and family day. So let's come and recognize our ancestors and show our support for Black History Month. Um, join us on the phone call line for the 21 Day of Prayer Challenge at 7 a.m. If you need copies of the paper, see Deacon 3. Um, if you'd like to pay your tithes, the cash app is in the program. Bible study will be Wednesday, February 21st at 7 p.m. Um, you, can, you can call in with the number on the program, follow us on YouTube, or follow us on Facebook. And let's keep the sick and shut in in prayer for those that are in the hospital. Um, Brother Kurt, you want to keep up, up with us in prayer? Well, let's see you today. Uplifted in prayer uh, with the death of her son, Alexander has the body. The funeral will be Saturday in Charlotte on Tom Hunter. Uh, um, Alexander has the body. It is Saturday in Charlotte off of Tom Hunter Road. Um, and let's keep all the Brim up families in prayer. I mean, this, this is the time that we all need to keep each other uplifted and reach out. And it gives everybody a kind word. So those are known announcements at this time. Amen. Praise Amen. the Lord. Go!
bless the Lord one time like you truly mean it. Like you thank him for what he's done. I, I, I don't know what he does for you. But if he ain't done nothing for you, you, you can be quiet if you like. But if he done something for you, let me just put it like this. If he woke you up this morning, you are the thank you. If he saw you safely to this house of worship, you are the same thing. If you were sick and now you're well, you can say thank you. Good question. To God be the Lord. Thank you, Lord, for what you have done. Children's Church, 
I heard him. I heard him last night, and uh, and he was he was having a pretty good fit. And I can only I I, I, I can't even really imagine. Uh, he, you know, so we pray that uh, he be lifted up because he's what? How old is Terry? Seven. Eleven. Eleven. Eleven years old. I could not imagine. And so we lift we lift him up. And Sister Mary said that you know this morning. And this is what lifts me up and, and, and gives me hope of our younger generation. Because out of his hurt heart, Sister Mary told me that last night, I'll see you when I see you. Which was my inclination if she was not going to come today. But she, she told me over there just recently before we started, she said, um, I woke up this morning. Terry and I said he wanted to come up there to the church. Amen. 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 And, and yes. Yes, Lord. You can say that you you can say that oh he don't know, he just gonna but but I'm gonna tell you what. I, I believe when, when God speaks to a child. Yes, yes. That, that the child listens to it more than we do because yeah. the child doesn't put up all types of barriers for God. Right, right. We, we throw up excuses. Yes, so, 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 so God spoke to him last night and, and said, man, you, you get up there in the church. And I'm going to tell you something that's special about what, what's the importance of children's church. That's one of the major, major reasons he wanted to come. Said he wanted to go up there to children's church. That's why we ought not, well, I ain't going to say, we, you know, you go broke with it, but that's why we ought not spare any expense to make sure that we push that very thing. Yes. So, so, that we, we, that, so that we cultivate children uh, because, look, listen here, children ain't bad. They just not being taught. That's it. That's Amen. It. That's, it. Amen. That's, it. that's on us. That's on us. That's right. Want to be friends too much. That's right. Amen. Uh, I, I goof around. If you, if you own TikTok or, or Snapchat or some of that stuff, all that, you, you might see me on there cutting up. They even know that when I go through the drive through with McDonald's and, and Chick fil A. But but when it when it when the rubber meets the road, as they say, I'm your daddy. And, and, and so yeah, we can goof around, but 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 I'm not your friend. I, I got a responsibility to be your daddy. Uh, and and so uh, we 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 we've got to do that. That 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 part's just on my on my heart. We're going to be talking about it. No, no, don't change it yet. Okay. Amen. 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 We're we, 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 we going to be talking about that. But I did want to uh, say this before before I do get into it and start up. Uh, I want y'all to know that y'all better not act up today. Y'all better watch how y'all talk to the preacher, to the pastor. Because I got security today. I got y'all to Y'all see that big fella sitting back there in that red jumper back there? Uh huh. Uh -huh. Yeah. <laughs> that, that's, that's security. Amen. No, nah, no, nah, that that that's my cousin. Amen. He he was he was uh he was uh late to the show, but but we took him on as one of the head hunters when we was young. Amen. When you get a name like that, you can tell, boy, we didn't play this. They call us the head hunters. Amen. Amen. Thank God for you uh, being here with us this morning, uh, Brother Nick. Brother Curtis, as you know, uh, had him a situation, and I, I talked to him, and and, uh, and the Lord spoke to me through him and his uh, ordeal, if you will. Amen. 
And as, as they say, he was, as he told me, threatening a heart attack. Or, 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 or like we could say, fizzing the hell. A heart attack. Good news is that he did. Hallelujah. But, but in his situation, God began to stir something up in my spirit. Because there's there some parallels of the heart physically and spiritually that I thought we ought to dig into a little bit. Amen. So turn, if you will, to the book of Proverbs, chapter 4. Verse 23, Proverbs chapter 4, verse 23, Proverbs chapter 4. Amen. Sounds like we're there. And if you ain't, or if you're not, we have cut down the excuses. Uh, thank God for the, um, the, the projector was in the shop. Uh, we thank God for the um, gentleman that fixed it. He didn't even charge us nothing. Y'all ought to give him some glory. Amen. 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 Y'all welcome. Amen. Uh, I'm the man, y'all. Thank God for having the pounds that can do that. Uh, I, 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 I went into that thing and, and, and put a, a resistor to bypass the thermistor so that it would trick it. And, and, you know, because the air that was blowing out, the thermistor had went out, and so it was reading a high temp. And if it reads a high temp, it shuts off. So I put a resistor in there to bypass it and trick it. Amen. I can preach that too, boy, because that's what that's what the enemy does in us, boy. He, 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 he throws something in there and bypasses us, and since we think everything works, let, let me go ahead and read this, y'all. Uh, Proverbs chapter 4, verse 23 says this. Above all else, guard your heart. For everything you do flows from it. Above all else, mm -hmm. guard your heart. Guard your heart. Mm -hmm. For everything you do flows from it. Mm -hmm. You may be seated. Amen. Above all else, guard your heart. For everything you do flows from it. Let us pray. Father, bless your word. Amen. Amen. We want to talk about today subject, if you will, Crew back there and done the changes. Um, amen. We're going to talk about uh, matters of the heart. Matters of the heart. Uh, Brother Michael Hyatt said if the heart is unhealthy, it threatens everything else. Family, Friends, career, everything. Michael was talking about a spiritual sense. In a physical sense, if your heart is not healthy, it threatens everything. 
Amen. Amen. Family, friends, career, everything. everything. Because if your heart ain't working right spiritually or physically, it could be a problem. Yeah. How is your heart? And I mean that both in the physical sense and spiritual sense. Do you know? One you may not know, but one you can know. For all of us, you, you, you may not know if your heart is truly all right physically. But you can know if your heart is all right spiritually. Imagine, if you will, y'all let me talk with you. You are out on a walk. Beautiful spring day. Everything is pretty. Colors vibrant. Trees moving in a slight breeze. You come to a creek. Some running water. But there's something wrong with the picture. You, you notice that somebody has dumped trash into the stream. An ugly sight to behold. Everything around it pretty, but yet this stream has now trash and dirt in it. Empty soda cans that seem like they've been there for a while. And there is uh, an ugly film on top of the water. If you've ever seen a water that has been contaminated, yeah. a lot of times you'll see like a ugly film on top of the water. Yeah. Mm. You, you can't just leave it like it is. Because it would bother your conscience. So you stoop down and you begin to pick up the trash. It takes you a few hours or, or it takes you some time before you can begin to see a difference. Because it's amazing how when you start to clean up, how much junk there really is there. You sit back and rest for a moment. And you realize that to truly keep it clean, you got to keep coming back day after day after day. But when you come back the next day, it's as if you had never done anything the day before. The creek is just as dirty as it was before you cleaned it the day before. Y'all walk with me now. In fact, it seems as though there's more trash than the day before. You, 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 you think to yourself, it's highly unlikely that somebody would come back and dump trash in the exact same place that you cleaned up. And you realize that something is fishy, yeah. so to speak. Yeah. So you begin to follow the creek upstream. Sure enough, you come to a garbage dump that has been there for years. Y'all walk with me now. Yeah. It's, 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 it's emptying out into the creek. This, 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 this dump that had been there for years, emptying in the creek, flowing downstream. And so what you saw needed to be cleaned up was started at the dump. Your cleaning job only opened up a gap for more trash. Mm. If you want the creek to be clean, or if you want your Heart to be clean, right. that means going directly mm -hmm. to the source. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Instead it. of keep cleaning up a certain place. That's it. That's it. Let me tell you, my brothers and sisters, it's easy to clean up something you don't have a problem with. Uh -huh. I can easily tell somebody, well, uh, I didn't drink nothing yesterday. I didn't clean that part up. But, but I can easily go to another part of the creek and see that there's trash there. And, it, and it's not just simply because somebody's putting new trash there. It's because some, there's some trash coming from upstream that I need to clear out before I can have my stream flowing like it's supposed to. Amen. 
Right. Y'all, y'all, uh, the, the creek is synonymous for the heart. Right. Yeah, because if you don't clean up your true problem with the heart, you'll never have a river flowing like it's supposed to. Right. Let, let me, let me. Unfortunately, my brothers and my sisters, we, we spend great amount of time, money, and energy, even in the church, yeah. simply doing trash removal. Yeah. And, and the problem is with that is not because if you did it every day, I'd say, okay, at least you're trying. But, but to really get to the bottom of it, you've got to go upstream and clear out the dump. But some of us, y'all, we don't even go every day. No. It's almost like the trash that comes in and picks up at our house. Uh, they, they come every third. Every third. And, 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 and the problem is, if we forget to take it out there, they don't come up to the house and take it from us. No, they don't. No, they don't. No. And ain't nobody going to clean up your trash in your heart but you. No, 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 no. That, that there's nobody that's going to clean up the dump in your stream but you. But you. Maybe here is the time where I might should insert. Uh, don't blame anybody else for your bad heart issues. It, right don't, don't blame somebody else because you ain't thinking right. That's oh, well, they just make me uh, not like them. They make me cuss them out. They, make, they don't make you do nothing. What's in your heart, in the, heart. Oh. the mouth speaks. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. I'm, I'm, I'm going to get to it in a minute, y'all. Uh, our real battle takes place in the heart. The heart is our innermost being. We do realize that the heart is not this organ here. John said the heart is emotions. When John said, let not your heart be troubled. Therefore, that, that, that's emotional. Pro uh, Proverbs says that it's intellect. Proverbs 23 and 7 says, so as a man thinking his heart, so is he. So we find out that the heart is our emotions. We find out that the heart is our intellect. But then also we find out that our heart is our very will. Daniel 1 and 8 says that Daniel purposed in his heart. That, 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 that means that Daniel.
heart now. One of the worst things that we talk about, and I know what you're kind of talking about when somebody tells somebody, trust your heart. Uh -huh. Jeremiah says that the heart is deceitful, that you can even trick yourself. It's your will. Have yourself believe in something you are not believing. That's, it. That's, That's it. the human heart. That's it. Y'all stay with me now. Matthew says uh, that, that from out of the heart proceed evil thoughts, murders, adulteries, fornication, theft, false witness, blasphemies. He says out of the human heart. <laughs> That's us, y'all. Uh, because we've got a human heart. Well, no, let me change that. That, that, that may not be all of us. Uh -huh. Because I'm going to make a distinction here in a minute. Go ahead. There's also, if you will, moving forward from a human heart, there is what I would call a holy heart. Holy heart. Go ahead. A holy heart, uh, my brothers and sisters, is a, is a heart that has given itself over to the Lord. Where, where it says Proverbs 3, 5, and 6, where we lean not unto our own understanding or, or lean not into our own thinking or lean not into our heart. Amen. We, 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 if we don't do that, we'll lean into God's understanding. Lean into what God is telling us. That's a holy heart. My brothers and my sisters, placing all your cares in the Lord keep, gets you a holy heart. My brothers and sisters, but you have to keep a holy heart. Can I, can I move back to the human heart? Because you got to understand that, 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 that between a human heart and a holy heart, uh, sometimes there is not much difference. The only difference being that the holy heart knows God. And the human heart don't. I'm playing with the words here now. I hope y'all got me. But, but, but now listen now. This human heart of ours, it is hurt by what we eat. Yeah. Amen. Uh, certain types of food we eat and, 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 and things can build up what they call plaque and it moves through your arteries and it yeah. keeps building up. It keeps building up. It keeps building up until sooner or later it cuts off the artery and then you fall over. Yeah. Well, let me tell you, my brothers and sisters, on the spiritual side. Yeah. And this is why you got to clean up the trash daily. Yeah. Because if you allow your spiritual heart to be blocked up by what you're feeding, what you're yeah. taking in, I know that your weeks are long. I know that people on the job don't care. I know that every time you look at the TV, somebody killing somebody, somebody hating somebody, some child and jumped on their parents, some old mother and done, done this and done that, deacons messing around, pastors ain't doing right. I understand all that. Yeah. But if you don't clean up your heart, yeah. Every day, you'll begin to start letting that stuff that you hear start blocking up your heart. Death comes along, and if you don't have a holy heart, that go blocking up a bit. Somebody talking about you blocked up a little bit more. Somebody hurt your feelings blocked up a little bit more. Deacon didn't call you blocked up a little bit more. Pastor didn't pray for you blocked up a little bit more. To all of a sudden, you've cut yourself off from the church and you fall over and have a spiritual heart attack. Heart, spiritual heart attack, y'all, cause fatigue. Let me tell you, y'all, it's hard. Y'all don't, 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 think, don't think that it's easy being a pastor. And it ain't hard for the problem of your preaching and all of those things. The hard part is dealing with people, whether they've got the human heart or the holy heart. Because I can't make a distinction between the two. Because if you've got a human heart, I've got to get you to a holy heart. And if you've got a holy heart, i got to keep you there. But it's hard dealing with those folks with the human heart. But it's even hard dealing with folks who think they got a holy heart, but they got a human heart. So they'll be quick to tell about all those folks with the human heart. They'll be quick to say how bad they are. And I'll be like, what about what you do? Because the fact of the matter you're talking about them makes your heart maybe not so holy. Y'all, right. I'm going to move up in the preacher in a minute. Uh, but let me tell you, y'all, uh, this fatigue, y'all, happens to us all. That, that's why the Lord told us uh, uh, in Galatians, I believe it is, do not become weary. Weary. 
in well-doing. That, 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 that encourage me, y'all, because that's like God pat me on the back and said, I don't care if they're not listening. You keep on preaching. I don't care if they appreciate your prayer. You keep on praying. I don't care if they care about your singing. Y'all keep on singing. I don't care if they care if the deacons come to you or not. Keep on coming. Keep on coming to church no matter what is happening and clean out your heart. Good gracious. Oh, yeah. Yes, yes, yes. And the next thing, y'all, a heart attack uh -huh. causes, or a bad heart causes shortness of breath. Of breath. Uh, see, when it is that you have not been cleaning up your heart and it's being blocked, mm -hmm. spiritually now, yeah, yeah. You, you get to a point to where you can't praise the Lord right. Because yeah, yeah. the, the Bible says that everything yeah, yeah. that has breath, yeah. praise the Lord. Yeah. And if you can't catch your breath, you can't, you can't praise you. right. Because for one thing, you're too busy trying to catch your breath uh -huh. to scream out to the Lord. That's it, that's it. And, and so my brothers and my sisters, we've got to clean out yeah. our own heart. Oh. To make sure that the arteries flowing. Amen. Now I, I want to talk about. I, I've talked about the human heart. Just oppose that with the holy heart. Now I want to move into the honest heart. All right, all right. God is is looking for a real relationship. A, a, a real relationship now. God ain't looking for your do's and your don'ts. God ain't looking and taking attendance how much you show up in church. God ain't looking for how many people you pray for, how many sermons you preach, whether you're willing to lead a song or not. God ain't looking at that. The Bible says God looks at the heart. I remember, I remember a story about uh, uh, God was picking a king. Or he was picking a leader. And, and, and he sent Samuel to the house where the leader was supposed to be. Everybody standing up there with their chest out, standing tall, and he said, no, not you, no, not you, no, not you, no, 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 no. He said, it's got to be somebody else, because I know the Lord sent me here. He said, well, I, I got one out there in the field. I, I, I got one out there, and then comes in David. We find out that David had an honest heart. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. And you'll say, well, wait a minute. What if David uh, messed with Bathsheba? I didn't say he had a sinless heart. Uh -huh. I said he had an honest heart. Honest heart. Because honest. it was David that realized in Psalms 51, if y'all paying attention, and he, paid, he understood that he done wrong. Man. He knew that he needed to clean out his heart. But Man. then he said, once he cleaned it out, he said, Lord, Man. create in me a clean heart. Man. And renew a right spirit within me. Yes. My brothers and sisters, if you're not cleaning out, yes. clean out, your spirit won't be right. Yes. <laughs> You'll find yourself mad and ain't no reason to be. That's it. That's You'll it. find yourself not liking folk That's simply it. for not speaking. Speak. Here's my thing on that. If they ain't speaking to you, you didn't speak to them. Oh, Now, now, if you speak to them and they don't say nothing, maybe that's just them human heart folks. Pray for them and move on. Yes, sir. Good gracious. I, I'm teaching here, y'all. Thank, thank you, Vance McDonald. Amen. Amen. I, I know if I ain't got but one, I got it, Vance McDonald. Amen. It's on his heart. Imagine, if you will, y'all, and I'm going to give you a real sense of this. Could you imagine marrying somebody? Standing up there at the altar. I guess the men be the one standing up at the altar, but you're going to get the picture. Standing up there at the altar, and the door's open. And not only is your wife coming down the aisle, but she's also coming down the aisle with her boyfriend. Y'all get the picture? That's how we do God. Uh -huh. That we say, yes, Lord, I'll marry. marry. Yes, Lord, you can have all my heart. Uh -huh. But you won't show up to church. Y'all hey, in here. But, but, but I'm, I'm just a matter of point. Won't show up to church. 
You, you care more about your car, care more about your house. You're worrying about stuff when he said, cast your cares upon me. Yes. And, and don't worry about it. Don't be anxious for nothing. That's because you hadn't given it totally to God. Oh, you're walking up the aisle with something else. Yeah. Even, y'all, if it's care, you ought not walk up to the aisle with other things on your mind. Yeah. Yeah. Because you finna marry the king yeah. of kings. You finna marry the Lord of Lords. And everything that the king has belongs to you. Y'all remember the story and Eddie Murphy went and over, he came from, uh, from Africa and he went over yeah. to America to find himself a bride. Yes, and then when he found a bride, he said, I'll give it all up. <laughs> but there was a smart lady when they was in the subway. Yeah. She said, if you're really a prince, uh -huh. I'll marry you. Oh. Because she got plenty of sense. But yeah. then when they, at the end, he said, she asked, would you really give all this up for me? And he looked up, she said, Nah, don't do it. Because she understood that now all of that stuff was hers. Hey, and beloved, that's what we got to do. When you coming down the aisle, stop walking up the aisle with a whole bunch of stuff. That's if right. you coming to marry the king, leave your stuff back there. Yeah. Leave your old lifestyle. Leave sometimes your old friends. Leave all that stuff back there and walk up and marry the king. Because guess what? After you marry the king, you ain't going to be needing for nothing else. That's it. That's it. I know I had. I know I had. David said, I was young and now I was old, and I'm old now. I've never seen or a seed begging for bread. David said, God always comes through. God always shows up. May not be on your time, but he shows up at the right time. Then, my brothers and sisters, let, let me go ahead and finish. Let me talk about. A happy heart. That's me. Woo. Mm. Thank you. Thank you. Mm. Let, me, let, me, let me back up. You can leave happy heart up there. And, and see, you gotta have an honest heart. You're right. Honest. Just just thinking that you're doing right. That, that don't cut it, y'all. Uh -uh. hey, amen, because you can, you can come to church and pray. Yes, you can. Sing like an angel. Yes, you can. M matter of fact, you can't sing better than one angel. Uh -uh. Amen. That, 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 that was kicked out, y'all remember? Uh -huh. You was head out of quiet. Amen. Um, uh, you, you can pray better than any prayer that we've ever seen. You can do anything the best you can do in the church. Yeah. But, but, but it's not about you doing right and wrong. The essence of Christianity, yes. the essence of following God, yes. is your heart. Heart, heart. And I do this right here, but your heart. heart. What, you, what you think, yes. what, what you believe, yes. what you will yourself into. Yes. I'm going to move to the happy heart in a second. I'm going to tell you why the reason the happy heart uh, uh, got me uh, excited. because um, It's because uh, I, I've got a holy heart. It's because I've got an honest heart. The reason I've got a happy heart. All right. Because I believe, y'all, that, that, that my heart, the will part, was so strong yeah. that, that, that I would make it over. Job uh, was the one that reminded me of this because Job suffered, y'all, and he persevered because Job said he'd know he'd see God one day. Yes, he did, sir. But, but not only that, y'all, we can see God now. Uh-huh. We see God moving around us. Yes, surely yeah. you can see God in me, but you can yeah. see God in what he done in Brother Curtis' life. Yeah. Yeah. You can yeah. see what God done in your life, brother. You can see God what he done in leading lady life. You can see what God is doing with people like all around the sanctuary. Yeah. Even today, y'all, I can go around and ask each person something they've been through, something that probably could have killed them, but God held it off. There's cancer waiting in your body trying to destroy you, and the Lord is holding it off. That, 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 that's why I got a happy heart. But before I leave, I, I, I got to find out if y'all got a happy heart. I'm going to give you a quick test. Or are you one way on Sunday? And another way on Monday? And I ain't meaning quite how you live. But, 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 but do you feel good on Sunday? And then on Monday you fall down. Uh, 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 then maybe your heart ain't happy. 
because my brothers and my sisters, I'm just as happy on a Tuesday morning as I am on a Sunday morning. Because no matter what day I find myself, I realize that that was the day that the Lord made. And, and, and I'm going to be glad and happy in it. And let me move forward and, and tell you why I'm going to be glad and happy in it. Because if I woke up that morning on this side, I've got another chance to make sure my heart is holy. I've got another chance to make sure my heart is pure. I've got another chance to make sure my heart is holy and honest. But my brothers and sisters, if you don't have a happy heart, maybe it is you don't know who can fix it. And if you don't know who can fix it, y'all, maybe I can give you a illustration of who he is. He, he is immaculate in all he does. He, he is generous and kind. He is all suffering and loving. He, he gives when others don't give back. He, he loves when others hate. Uh, he helps where others hurt. He's there every time you need him. Yes. He, when, you, when somebody passes in your family, he's the first one there. Right. When you call on him, he answers. Yes. Some of y'all don't know who he is. So yes. Let me just tell you. Somebody said he's the king of kings. Yes. Somebody said he's the lord of lords. Yes. I heard Jeremiah say he's a wheel yes. in the middle of a wheel. Yes. I heard somebody say he's a fire. Yes. Shut up in my bones. Yes. Somebody said he's the bomb. In Gilead. Yeah. He's Abraham's yeah. faith. Yeah. He's Noah's ark. Oh, yeah. He is the beginning and the end. Yeah. He is the alpha and the omega. Yeah. He is the truth. Yeah. He is the lion yeah. of the tribe of Judah. Yeah. He is the cornerstone that yeah. the builders rejected. He is God. Yeah. He is the Holy Spirit. Yeah. And his name is Jesus. Yeah. Jesus. If you know who Jesus is, just saying his name will make your heart happy. Just thinking of his presence will make your heart happy. Just seeing what he does will make your heart happy. If your heart ain't happy, think on Jesus. If your heart ain't happy, think on him. If your heart ain't happy, love Jesus. And he'll fill your heart. Don't, don't let your heart get clogged up with mess. Don't let your heart get clogged up with junk. Clean up your creek. Clean up your river so, so that God can work through your heart. I know it's troubling sometimes. I know your heart hurts sometimes. I know your spirit broken sometimes. But keep on stepping. Keep on walking. Keep on trusting. Keep on praying. Keep on singing. Keep on preaching. Keep on going on. If your heart is unhealthy, it threatens everything. If your heart ain't right, my brothers and my sisters, you can't be happy. And your heart can't be holy. And you can't be honest. You'll be sitting there with man's heart. The human heart. You'll think like a man. Walk like a man. And talk like a man. But when it is you got a holy heart, you think like God. You walk like God. You talk like God. Question is, how's your heart? How is your heart? Is your heart right? If it's not, you can fix that this morning. Would you stand? If your heart ain't right, y'all hear me? If your heart ain't right, would you come? All right. That don't mean that you're going to fix everything by taking a step. But if your heart, you know if your heart ain't right. Would you come? If your heart ain't right, would you come? God is asking for your heart this morning. He ain't asking for your attendance. He ain't asking for your prayers. He ain't asking for your song. He wants your heart. He wants you to trust him. Thank you.
if it is your desire to stand in the place of somebody. By what you perceive now, you're not judging. But from how they live, you perceive that their heart ain't right. Would you come and stand in their place? Would you come? Would you come? Do you know somebody? Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. 
Father, you said you'd be a mother yes, to the mother. Yes, yes, yes. Touch him, Lord. Yes. Let him even get stronger yes. in you. Yes. Yes. Where he may lack a physical presence here, Lord, yes. fill him yes. up with you. Yes, yes. Yes, Lord. Oh God, we believe it by faith. We believe it. We, we believe it, Lord. Yes. That you're already doing it. Yes. That you're already working. Yes. That you're already touching. Yes, God. Lord, move around this church. Yes. Help us, Lord. Yes. Hallelujah, Jesus. Help us all pick out our heart, Lord. Yes. That we don't just talk the talk. That we walk it. Yes. Help us to be true, Lord. Yeah, yeah. Help us to have that honest heart, yeah, honest. that holy heart. Yeah. Thank yeah. you. Oh, Lord, I thank you. Thank you, Lord. Thank Only you can do it, Lord. Only thank you. Yeah. Please, God. Yeah. Please, God. Yeah. Father, we thank you. Thank you, Lord. We give you all the praise, thank you. the honor, and the glory. Thank you. For it is in Jesus' name that we pray. Thank you. Let us all say amen. 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 Thank you, Jesus. Amen. To God be the glory. Hallelujah. Amen. Yes, it sure is. Amen. Amen. To God be the glory. Sometimes I just got to talk to you. Amen. Y'all, this ain't no game for me. chance of me even waking up after they do it, if they can even complete it. Oh my gosh. And we took a selfie and I looked at it. And I couldn't do nothing but cry. Because I said, we acting like ain't nothing finna happen. We smiling in a selfie. Like we on a date in the hospital. That's faith. Only faith can make you feel that way. And that's when you get your heart right, y'all. My heart belongs to God. In a day and age when everybody is pulling for your heart. My kids want my heart. My wife want my heart. My church want my heart. But my heart belongs to God. And whatever you get is through Him. He's the giver of it. All I need to do is lift up. Lift up the May not seem like it sometimes. What they call it, tough love. We all need it sometimes. But we gotta get our heart right, beloved. And, and you, if this sound redundant to you, then maybe you got your heart right. But if it, but if it's if it's hitting you, and you feel like, well, wow, he just gone. Then, then maybe that's you. Maybe that's you that I need to keep talking about. Matters of the heart. Amen. Amen. I'm going to leave it alone now. I'm going to leave y'all with this. I'm going to. Sister Arkansas, uh, 
But two weeks ago, I did not tell. But two weeks ago, um, I, I saw in the dog tree up there. She had a car full of um, crackers and chips and candy and all that type of stuff. <coughs> and he said, Pastor, <coughs> she said, last week, I was feeling, you know, kind of strange. Felt like, um, felt like I was going to uh, pass out. And she said, Dad, we're not pass out. She said, maybe my sugar got low. She said, I'm going to be prepared. You know. And at first I told her, I'm going to tell you exactly what I told you because I'm transparent. I said, I said, okay. I said, but sneak it to your mouth because you know how them folks is. And they're going to say, Pastor said nobody eating in there. And then I said, you know what? I said, you hold that cookie sticking in your mouth. I said, if anybody say something to you, I said, we're going to move some furniture. <laughs> <laughs> 